Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice functional equations? We have f of 1 equals 3 and f of 1 plus x equals f of 1 plus f of x. What is f of 50? Let's solve this problem with two different approach and uh, if you have any other approach, you can just share it in the comment box. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, let's say we start with solution here. For the first method, we have, let's start from the second line of the given question, f of 1 plus x equals f of 1 plus f of x. Suppose if I let at x here equals 1. If x equals to 1, then we have for the first one, that becomes f of 2, which is equals f of 1 plus f of 1. And f of 1, it has been given as 3. By replacing f of 1 with 3, we have this as 3 plus 3. And 3 plus 3 here is more of when we say 2 multiplied by 3. And 2 times 3, this gives us 6. And if you can't leave it as 2 times 3, we can also say 3 times 2. But I will prefer it leaving it as 3 multiplied by 2. And that is for a reason. And also, if x equals 2. For x equals 2, we are going to have f of f of 3 equals f of 1 plus f of 2. We are still following the formula. f of 1 here is given as 3 plus, but f of 2 has been gotten above. Here is 3 times 2. And 3 times 2, that equals 6. 3 times 6, that gives us 3 plus 6, that is 9. And 9 here is the same thing as 3 multiplied by 3. But we test for another one. If x equals 3, we are going to have f of f of 4 equals f of 1 plus f of 3 and f of 1 has been given as 3 plus while f of 3 here is what we get as 9 and 3 plus 9 it gives us 12 but 12 can also be written as 3 multiplied by 4 and when we follow this trend, we see that the first one, which is the f of 2, is given as 3.2. So let's write it somewhere here. We have 3.2, which is the first f of 2. And this follows by 3.3 .3 here. We have 3.3 .3 and followed by 3.4. So that is 3 times 4. And the next one that will come will be 3 multiplied by 5. That is how this thing keeps increasing. But looking at the first one here, it remains constant. And for this one, it keeps increasing by 1, 1. So 2, 3, 4, 5. The next one will be 6. So therefore, we cannot derive this formula for this one as it continues. So the formula for this function is given as f of x equals 3 multiplied by x. Because we assume the first x as 2. So this is our x and the function will be f of x equals this constant here which is 3 then multiplied by x. That is for f of x. So we can just generalize it like that. And if you keep going, let's say for x equals 49, we are going to have f of 50 
equals f of 1 plus f of 49. And since we have deduced our formula already that for every f of x, so this equals 3x. That is uh, the formula here. And coming here, our f of x here is given as 3 plus and f of 49. If you assume that the x here is 49, then this one becomes 3 multiplied by 49. If 3 multiply 49, that is 3 plus 147. So 3 plus 147, this gives us 150. And this shows that f of 50 is given as 150. So this is how to solve this for the first method. And uh, just as simple it is, let's consider the second method and see which one is more simpler. And if you are just coming to this channel, please do well to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos. For the second method, we are going to, suppose I transfer this f of x to this left hand side. We are going to have f of 1 plus x, then minus f of x, this equals f of 1. But f of 1 is given as, is given as 3. Let's replace it. We have f of 1 plus x minus f of x, this equals 3. I'm getting this. Let's try and uh, keep repeating this value at if x equals 1. For x equals 1, we are going to have f of 2, substituting it here, minus f of 1, this equals 3. And let's keep repeating the values if x equals 2. For x equals 2, we are going to have f of 3 minus f of 2, and this keeps the constant as 3. If f equals 4, we are going to have, for x equals to 2, we are going to have this f of 4 minus f of 3, this equals 3. And if x equals 4, we are going to have f of 5 minus f of 4, this equals 3. And if we keep going this way, so we are going to have till we, till we reach uh, the last one, which is f of 49. And that f of 49 is just like f of 50. For x equals 49, we have f of 50, then minus f of 49. So this also equals 3. And looking at this, this one we keep canceling because let's say we add this together. So this cancelled, this cancelled this, this cancelled this. And also this, we also cancelled this one here. Then there is f of 49 here, which cancelled f of 49. The only thing that remains is f of 50 and uh, f of, we have f of 1. And all these numbers just keep adding each other as we add all these function here. Then we are going to have uh, we are going to have f of 50, let me add this together, f of 50 minus f of 1, this equals, so by adding all this together, it makes us, make us 49, that is 3 multiplied by 49. So 3 times 49 is what we are going to have, and f of 1 here is given as 3, therefore f of 50 equals 1 other than 47 plus f of 1, which is 3. And 147 plus 3, that is 150. That is, f of 50 also equals 150. So, for the first method and the second method, this is how simple they are. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you watch to this page, thank you. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next class. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.